All right, guys. So obviously there has been a lot of questions and uncertainty about what's going on with the latest Google updates and people claiming it's targeting AI and content getting hit and all these things. So in this video, I just wanted to quickly address whether Zimrider actually still works after the March 2024 Google update and after the HCU and whether that's ranking or not. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you a couple of examples of websites that I have used Zimrider to write the articles for and then obviously edited the articles before I posted them. So that's obviously an important note here and what the traffic looks like on these sites. So hopefully this will answer the question of whether it works. I've got four examples here. I'm going to show you of websites, like I said, that I manage that I put Zimrider content on. This is the first one here. And as you can see, this is clearly an upwards trend after March of 2024. You can see March 2024. We're now in April and you can see that it's going up in terms of traffic and keywords that it ranks for. Now, this is obviously a traffic estimate by SEMrush, but I can tell you that this traffic is actually accurate and this site does have Zimrider articles on it like I said, which have been edited. Now, another example is this one. Now, this traffic graph is not accurate, but I think that's pretty obvious seeing how the sharp increase in keywords here. However, this just hasn't caught up yet. It's actually more around 400, 500 users a month where this site is sitting at the moment. But you can see there's a pretty clear increase here in terms of keywords that it ranks for. And there's no decrease. Even if you take a look at the traffic graph here, there isn't a sharp decrease like most sites that have got hit with the updates. So this one I can tell you is doing well as well. And you can see here by the keywords that it ranks for. And this one has quite a few Zimrider articles, I can assure you. Another example is this one here. This traffic graph is not actually accurate. It hasn't been going down, but that's kind of irrelevant. You can see that it's definitely not a sharp decrease since March. And you can see with the keywords here, February, March, April has been relatively stable. So this one hasn't dropped off either. And here's another example of one that has some AI Zimrider articles as well that hasn't been hit either by the March update. You can see there's actually had, we've had an increase since February. So basically what I'm trying to show you here is that it's not Zimrider or AI specifically that is getting hit with these updates. What is more important is what website the articles are actually on. Now I've made another video about what to do since the March 2024 update and a couple of details about that where I spoke about what's more relevant is whether the site is actually deemed like a real business or whether it's just purely content. The majority of sites, I should say, that got hit with the latest updates, both in September and now, have been predominantly content only websites, specifically affiliate type blogs, which Google has been going after for a while. And now it specifically seems to have tried to kill them. Whereas businesses like e-com stores or local businesses, which is by the way, pretty much all these sites I've showed you, they're all local businesses. They have not been affected, at least in my experience, from any of these updates. The same content strategy is working as I have previously spoken about, but they actually have services that they're offering and there's conversion actions on the website. So people need to fill out the form or call them or for example e-com stores with some purchases something that's more important than what the content was written by what's more important is what site it's on a lot of sites with ai have been impacted however i've also had my blog which i've spoken about in previous videos which was purely human written content by me myself so i know for a fact it was human written and that one got smashed in the updates so that tells you something it's it's got nothing to do with this so this hopefully gives you at least some idea that zimrider does still work in march 2024 i would recommend that you edit the articles before putting them up on the website i personally do that with all the articles i use where i run it through zimrider even if i use the bulk writer i do still use the bulk writer i'll run it through there and then i will edit it to make sure that it's got the content the sections i need i might remove some sections whatever clean up some of the things but i do still use it and i intend to continue using it until I have a reason to stop. So hopefully that answers the question of whether Zimrider still works. In my experience, it definitely does still work and I am still using it. So I don't see any reason to stop using it. Like I said, I think it's more, at least from the evidence that I've seen, it's more relevant what site the content's going on than Zimrider's content itself. So I still recommend Zimrider. I'm still gonna use it. And that's my opinion on the matter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you have any questions or comments about this, do put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Otherwise, if you'd like my help with Google Ads, or SEO for your business, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with me there. Catch you on the next one.